Hey YouTube. Uh, I replaced this windmill pane in my vinyl windmill. It's only five years old, but uh, we had a big snowstorm this year and we had 100 kilometer an hour winds and uh, it broke the uh, the outside pane, which uh, I was happy that the inside didn't break. So I taped it up and uh, I had to wait six weeks for another window from where, where I live. And uh, thankfully the other one didn't break, but you can see the condensation in there where I used the suction cup to hold the window. But uh, I took pictures because I couldn't film, but I'm just, this is already out and everything else about it. I'm just gonna show you what, uh, you know, quickly, but I'll put the pictures up as well. On the bottom, there's gonna be two shims, plastic shims. Make sure you don't forget about those. Take them off, they might be silicone in and, and, and everything, but take them out, clean them up, put them back in the same, same area. Um, and then put your, and, and on the outside of the, the window, it's going to be two-sided tape. This is, I don't know, this is just minute. But on the other, on the inside of the, the vinyl, there's going to be two-sided tape. I don't, I didn't have two-sided tape. And the manufacturer told me that uh, if the two-sided tape comes all out, more, like it stays in on the window all in one piece and it's not tore up and everything, you can just... Put a bead of, of silicone, 100% silicone, right, or on the uh, the perimeter, and that should seal your window in um, when you push it in. So, but if you you're planning ahead of time, you can get the two sided tape. I think this is, you know, I think they call it glazing tape, and it's a quarter inch. So a quarter inch two-sided glazing tape you can put that on if not silicone I, i'm not sure if i put enough silicone on i thought that it kind of looked like enough but hopefully uh, but it did look like it was squeezing out when you push the window in so anyway um don't be discouraged this is the first one i've ever done and um it went pretty good for you know I, i'm sure i I didn't do everything perfectly. I tried to clean. It took more time getting the window out once I had the, the trim off. And the trim, do the, um, you take it off with this window. You'll take off the verticals and then the horizontals. Then you'll replace it with the horizontals and then the verticals, right? Um, you'll see that when you take it off. Uh, what's overlap the other one, right? It's, kind of common sense but uh some windows have square and not mitered so hey but uh something but make sure you put the, the the shims that's on the bottom make sure you take those shims they're plastic and clean them up and put them in because that keeps your window the right distance off the bottom warranty you know uh, and it's a small window you want to try it go for it because I think you'll be surprised on, you know, how easy it is. Thanks.